Hey guys, here's Jimac with another Battlefield 3 video. I wanted to bring you something nice to look at from the expansion pack, the Armored Kill DLC. Unfortunately, I've just uh, avoided rush gameplay, so there's no action pack gameplay for you. Uh, I've only played Conquest, if at all, because for the, for the last, I don't know, two, three days, I've actually avoided um, the Armored Kill, because all my friends are playing the, the old maps um, when they're playing Conquest, so only rarely I join in a game. So this was uh, one of the early playthroughs that um, we've done, and um, I mean, it's I, I still don't think that it's a very well uh, made expansion pack for consoles but I've I've learned to live with it uh, in the uh, conquest game mode um, there are there's one map the Bandar desert where as infantry you can still have some fun on the ABCD flags uh, because they're reachable on foot or um, there's a quad spawning close by so that's doable um, but um, if you're like me you know when when they're capping flags you want to spawn in defend it uh, don't do that in the expansion pack because uh, you're gonna quite likely win um, you know take out the vehicle or uh, the two guys capping it but then you're stuck there you know there's nothing usually nothing but a quad spawning somewhere so sometimes you're lucky to get the quad but most of the time you're just stuck running around that one flag or just venturing into the desert to get, be killed by a helicopter but um, if you just focus on spawning or waiting for vehicles and worrying I mean caring about um, choppers and, and jets which I've done um, well, certainly I've done it more on these maps than I've ever done on, on the other maps. Uh, I barely go into a jet because I suck, but I have to say the expansion pack brought something for the for the players that uh, don't usually go into a jet. And that's the AC-130. It's a very easy target and, uh, you know, you can pop the... even if you don't have uh, stingers, or the air-to-air -air missiles uh, unlocked, a run from a side or, or back, if you're going from the bottom, can get you, um, um, you probably want to do two, but if you pop the missiles and then the then the machine gun, you can take out the, the, the SC-130. And it's a very satisfying kill with, with the fireworks at the end. So that's good. So apart from the choppers, you have something else uh, to shoot when you suck at dogfights, which I still do. But um, so I've been playing that. The other thing is uh, the change of uh, dynamics um, for choppers makes the stinger now uh, quite viable, as you may have heard. The uh, gunner does not have the ability to pop flares, so. Um, Usually gunners go well. I, I recommend running with uh, the um, infrared vision because you can see the, the, the static guys aiming their stingers and if you can take them out before they you know shoot the, the eaglers or stingers then you've essentially done a similar job to popping a flare and got a kill as well. Um, but as infantry if you run stinger it is now fairly um, you know easy to get some kills even on experienced players although I've seen experienced players uh, use the ECM in a similar way as they use flares before the patch um, people would you know immediately pop ECM to avoid a lock-on and um, you know hide and they would still have the gunner to pop the flares in just in case uh, somebody locked them on after they've um, used up the ECM. Now I've seen people actually uh, wait 
to uh, get the missile uh, in the air or you know to, to have the enemy shoot the missile and then pop ECM which kind of confuses the missile and it keeps circling around the chopper and if they're you know um, close to any object usually the, the missile hits hits the ground or building or something like that so uh, even alone people like the really good pilots are still able to avoid uh, getting hit by stinger but it does lock on even when they're below uh, radar so even if they're sitting on the floor on the ground you can still lock on with a uh, with a stinger so it is a uh, it is a non satisfying but still very viable weapon now um, but what I wanted to talk about is that uh, friends of mine just been in a close quarters uh, server on the PlayStation where there's been 12v12 in Zeba Tower. Now, I find this exciting and I have to look into it what was happening there. Um, I don't have a rented server yet, so um, if any of you is uh, has a server, if you can you know check and perhaps comment on my feed if it's some sort of a glitch or if it's now possible to set up close quarter maps with uh, 12 v 12 players uh, that would be great to hear now I'm not interested in a clusterfuck of a of a game where <laughs> people are crammed in Ziba tower and there's just no way to, to to turn when people are spawning across the map. Uh, but I do find that interesting in that uh, the other two maps, not Zeba Tower or Donya, but Scrapeyard and Operation 925, I think, would be still fun to play, 12v12. And it would be great to have a mix of maps. So nobody's currently running uh, the close quarter maps combined with regular maps because uh, the maximum number of players was 8v8. So if you would mix Caspian board and all with that, you would have to have eight players on each side to you know try to find the other guys on the, this huge map. And this is even more dramatic on the on the new maps, which are even bigger. But if it's 12 with 12, I can imagine some really interesting uh, map rotations where you would have the sort of you know laid back um, armored kill map followed by a mayhem in I would even go for Zeba Tower like something really crazy. Um, I think it would be fun. So if you guys know about if this is now you know, uh, a regular and, and possible configuration on the server that you can be running 12v12 on, on the close quarters maps. Please let me know. I would love to know. Um, I would actually, you know, love to favorite some servers that do have that rotation. And as a last thing, I'd like to invite you to an event. Um, I mean, the likelihood of you being in Prague or close to Prague is fairly low, I guess, judging from my uh, subscriber list. But anyway, uh, there is a con well, it's not really a conference. It's more of a uh, meetup of uh, independent game developers that uh, my friend has been organizing for the past uh, at least a year now and he's been able to to get some really interesting people in and um, this time it's no different uh, it's happening on uh, September 25th in Prague um, I'm gonna link so that you can know the exact location um, and he's going to have uh, the author of the DayZ mod that has been pretty popular among people. It's like this uh, zombie survival mode which has some interesting um, interaction with other players. Um, usually 
of an unpleasant kind. Uh, but anyway, so he's uh, Dean Hall is his name, and uh, he's gonna be um, talking about Daisy and I bet uh, other things. The the mod is actually similar to to the um, Half Life uh, um, Counter Strike mod. It's going to be released as a standalone game, so uh, I bet he's gonna be talking about that. But why am I talking about that? Um, I'm talking about it because I will also be giving a talk. Uh, granted, it's going to be not going to be as interesting, I bet. I'm going to be talking about uh, Blender, which is a 3D package usually used for uh, you know modeling and, and, and rigging, animating, rendering, lighting, all the good stuff. But it also has a an embedded game engine with some really sophisticated things like um, an internal physics engine and you can do pretty amazing things without writing a single line of code and we're going to be demoing it with my friend uh, Yuzi, who's uh, Yuzi Hnidek who is um, um, involved in Blender's development so I'm just going to be you know showing pretty pretty pictures well hopefully pretty and um, he's gonna be the brains behind um, behind the talk. So I hope uh, some of you are close to Prague, are able to come. I uh, sincerely invite you to to come, and I hope it's gonna be fun. So um, take care, Blenderheads, and I see you on the battlefield. Bye bye. Wartuła na całej świeczkę. Taki na Ećko.
still need to. Ty. Ty tu 